So in this video, I'm going to go over continuous data protection and show you about saving a file locally and it going up into continuous data protection. So you'll see here, I have a protection plan and the software I'm using is LibreOffice. And you can see here that I have continuous data protection on. What I want to protect continuously is the downloads area and it's star.odt. That would be any file that has an ODT extension within the downloads directory and I'm storing to the backup and I'm storing to a cloud storage. For now, I'm going to go to devices to show you what is currently in the CDP. So here you have different files from CDP that have not been changed at all. But I'm going to go ahead and create a new file. I'm going to create a new file in LibreOffice. And then we will see how this goes into the continuous data protection. I'm going to start up LibreOffice. And create a new document. I'm going to go ahead and save this into my downloads directory. And I'm going to go ahead and exit. You'll see that I have this document here now. The no ODT file extension. And my downloads directory. Let's go ahead and switch back to the console and go to the CDP and recovery. Okay, so we're back here at the console. I'm going to all devices. I selected the device and then I'm going to recovery. And you'll see the CDP backup. I'm going to hit recover. I'm going to choose files and folders. And you will see in here the file that I have that I saved on my laptop. I could download it here or I could hit recover for this file. So if I accidentally deleted it on my laptop and even I deleted everything from my recycle bin, I could go back in between my backups and get this file. Further, if the laptop crashed, I could restore all the way back to the last backup so it could have been my foals, differentials, and incrementals, say from midnight last night. And now I could recover these files in between my incremental I just had and my incremental that's about to occur later today. Thanks for watching.